because it's a hot day, white shirt, there's no fields available, but I'm out with Geo and uh, he's got that many fields, there's always something on a straggly end of somewhere. So we're going to see if we can straggle up something. I literally haven't even dug a hole yet here. And we're only snatching an hour in the afternoon because uh, it took us this long to find a field. And we've been to the pub and stuff. Uh, I haven't even got going properly. And Dean has found a hammer. Can I have a look, Dean? Uh, Geo, should say. I'm going to edit that, I'll overdub that bit. Yeah. i got to find it now. Oh, spot on. Scratch little scrag end of his permission. He didn't even, he wouldn't have had a clue that we were going to be out digging on this patch today. Bit mangled. But yeah, it's uh, a lizzy penny. Nice mate, well done. Trusty gold max strikes again. Well, my first signal, something round here, probably a smashed out copper. Yeah. Uh, George V or someone, Penny. Well, there's certainly coins here anyway. And it's hot. Well, I know I've said it, but it's blooming hot, hot, hot. Not quite as hot as that musket ball when it was fired, but not far off. Well, just got another uh, musket ball, which is a good sign. Uh, Geo's only been on these fields, so I don't know, about twice in the last 20 odd years that he's had them on this field. He did say there was a lot of medieval pottery in this area, so we'll give it a good uh, going over, but it's too hot to stay out for much more than an hour. I'll talk to my Polish mechanic friend, Pau. Pavel Advance over in uh, Coventry. I've got a replacement Polish mechanic mm -hmm. here. Uh, now I've got issues, but with a little help from my friends, we'll get their views. Right, so like I say, my car's broke down. It's a knock sensor, but you've got to take uh, the manifold off and I can't do none of that. So between Steve and Pav, they're going to chip away at it over the next couple of days. Got the part. Tilly's been a right cat as well. She's brought a load of fleas in, the flat's crawling. So I've just set three smoke bombs off. Uh, not smoke bombs, flea bombs. Uh, I've got to vacate the flat for at least four. Well, it says two, but I'm going to make it at least four, if not five. And I'm on Pav and Steve's joint permission. Steve had it for six years. Pav accidentally got it, doubled up on it. Uh, the other month but it's all cool because we're all good friends and uh, there's only me on it today <laughs> out of the three of us i ain't got the permission but that's what friends do all right i'm gonna swing my man to court and see if anything beeps that's worth showing you first target the remnants of a four hole button back number 17 on the man to call target number two here so would you like to have a guess before i show it you yeah, you guessed right, another button. There you go. Something round in the clod. Appears to have a milled edge, but I don't think it's silver, so it might just be modern. I think it's probably just a modern 10 pence piece. Yes, that is the correct identification. Okay, this come in at uh, number 35-ish on the manticore. And if you hadn't dug many of these or any of them, you'd probably just think scrap. But because we've dug hundreds of them on Roman fields, I'm going for just a little Roman grot it is. Concrete treated with concretions and very worn. But nevertheless, a Roman. The ubiquitous bracket or hinge. Anybody remember hinge and bracket on the TV, a double act? If you do, you're an old git like me. And uh, I didn't actually rate them very much, hinge and bracket. Can't even think of the catch lines. Well, I've been on the field about 30, 40 minutes. I've come from that direction, doing a diagonal across the field. 
and uh, no, no great shakes, just another button there. Uh, I've been getting bits of lead and a few bits of cancer and that. So I've been, I've been digging quite a lot, but just not hit on anything groovy yet. Like I said earlier, I've been coming across from that corner and that slopes up there and then it goes further up to the top of the hill there. I don't know whether you're picking it up, but about there, you know, it's undulating. It, it, it goes down like that, this field. And then, like I say, in the next field, it goes further up and up. And I like the look of some of these curves in this field. Always try and read your fields. It's hoping for a hammer or something up here eventually, but I've just got my second little Roman grotto today. Steve's had uh, in that next field over in the far corner and another field off the bottom of it. He's had a few Roman brooches and behind them trees is another one of the fields on the permission. Uh, Steve's missus shell has had a Roman denarii off the... But yeah. Something really historic happened at the top of the hill. Battle of Evesham basically. But uh, yes, we're um, we're not on that bit. It's not allowed on certain bits, and that's fine by me. We don't need to be on it. Leave it for the Arkies. Something round there. Most likely just a button, because it usually always is, isn't it? Although, having said that, there's no shank. Uh, no obvious shank, anyway. Still think it's going to probably have been a button, though. I think that might be the trace of a snap shank. Snap shank, Bazza. It's got a goddamn snap snap shank. Actually, I'll give it another good wipe. And I think it's Roman. Can you see like a helmeted figure um, facing a right there? And it's got a flower or something, or a mermaid in front of his nose. Or it might be a haddock in front of his nose. Not sure, and uh, yeah, I reckon it's. Uh, I reckon that'll clean up that. I reckon that's the silver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's a, uh, there's, uh, there's the gladiator on the back there, and he's kicking a ball because they did have uh, like a rudimentary um, form of football, the Romans, and I reckon that fella there is kicking a Roman football and these only come up in solid silver so it's going to clean up a perla absolute uh, amazing example of a Roman football denarii it's the sort of thing I have to listen to on the groups and even out in the fields it's Tatlock Albert Tatlock good old Albert Tatlock has uh, sparked a memory Probably five years ago or more, uh, I used to just, uh, well, I still do chat absolute bubbles, don't I? And just say any uh, nonsense that pops in my head. I had a fixation on the old Albert Tatlock for about a year uh, while I was making my videos. I used to harp on about my lot. And I did a song and I uploaded it to YouTube on this channel. Put in your Google search bar if you want to laugh. And you can dial the clock back on my channel. You can dial the clock back actually. No, actually I was living at my dad's house. She's gonna dial the clock back like nine years or more. Put into YouTube Albert Tatlock stole my motor. And you'll see me performing a song all my own doing before I had these fancy AI apps to do most of it for me. Albert Tatlock stole my motor. That's my first bit of medieval, I think. Uh, a little medieval belt mount, belt stiffener. Oh, sorry. Uh, now this, this undulates this, like I said. I don't know whether you can pick it up. And it goes up. I'm going to zigzag back and forward on this highest part of the top corner of this field. I think there's a hammer deer. Something round there. 
don't think it's a coin, but then again, I don't know. Oh, a little half pence, I think, maybe, yeah. That was only about half an inch down, just about covered. I think that might be 1920 odd or something. George, the teacup, whatnot, you know. You see way over there in the next field, hang on. Santa picked and now that's Pav, he's just rocked up, he's having half an hour. But unless he finds something or I do, it's not even worth me going over there just now. I think he's waving there. Um, yeah, because he's off again in 10 minutes, just in between his taxi job, so he'll be coming back in an hour or two. Hopefully he can stay a bit longer. Right, I've just popped this, and I actually thought like door furniture, you know, like base off a, a handle for a drawer or something but amazingly I posted it on Facebook because I wasn't 100% sure I posted it in Identify My Ancient Find group and uh, some uh, three experts have just said it's the bottom of a, a Roman uh, altar you know like a little altar that they'd have in the house and they'd have a tiny little statue of uh, Hadrian or someone sat on it But then again, I might have just made that up because the sun might be getting to me or something, or I'm just nuts. Well, I just got that. Uh, it was more bent than that. I've just straightened it out a bit to film it. It's got the shape on that end of the two circles of a medieval spur rail, but it's not, not the typical spur rail. Uh, anybody got an idea what it was off? Please drop down in the comments. Thank you. I say, missus, what a nice set of buttons you've got. My, those two buttons mesmerise me shining in the sun. Ooh, thanks, missus. Got gold on it, look. And you run and you run to catch up with the sun where it's sinking. Ooh, goldy button. Yeah, so don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And definitely watch more of my videos at this difficult time because the world is absolutely fucked. Britain is majorly fucked. Uh, sectarian wars breaking out on our streets between certain, certain people. Uh, stop it. Put the weapons down. Stop winding each other up. Don't be played by Big Brother. You're just being played by them billionaires up there. You're all like little puppets each side, the left, the right, the ones in between. You're all attacking each other, but you're all being played by them up there. Klaus Schwab and, and all of them. Ask Jeremy Clarkson, he knows. Right, so that's the hill sloping down. I'm up in the top corner. Like I explained to you, zigging and zagging, saying there must be a hammy up here. I just got a mega feeling. And the whole field has never produced a hammy in six years, Steve. Well, there's one there, because this Steve had a theory. And it wasn't no conspiracy. It was a raspy little signal. And then once I dug it, uh, it's only a small hammer, then it must have been about six inches down. But the signal disappeared when I pulled all the clod out. Let's go. I'm going to guess it's a hammer. There'll be a right loom now if it ain't, won't I? It's certainly looking like one, isn't it? Only a little one. Oh, has it got me... Has it got me shitting fucking wrong gears? I, I don't know, it looks like the army there, doesn't it? I don't know. I might be wrong, might not. I don't know, I'm gonna clean it. Oh, I've got no water, I'll have to lick it. Yeah, it's an absolutely shattered, hammered. But at least I proved my theory right, and that's always nice. I'll clean it up better when I get in. 
I think that's uh, part of uh, the Tudor shield there, that line going across. So just, yeah, can you see that other line going down the middle? I think it was a Tudor shield. Unless it's my first Commonwealth with their little shields, but it's smashed, whatever it is. And uh, that side needs a proper clean. But anyway, I got my hammered off the hill. Oh, I think I forgot to tell you, Pav did only have like 20 minutes over there. But he's had a, a nice Henry the Third cut off, but, you know, he's got off in his taxi now, polished, spat on it, polished it up. Um, he's coming back later, so he'll show me it. But that's a known hammy patch down there. I don't like to sit off on known patches. I mean, I will if, if push comes to shove, but... I like to scope out new patches. Holy dog's body, Batman. What the hell's this? I have no idea. It's lead or something heavy. Oh, that's interesting, that. Yeah, I know. People are going to think, oh, it's just the top of a railing or something, but it's not iron. I think that might be iron, but I'm pretty sure the top of this ain't. That's interesting, that. I like interesting things. I don't think it'd be a draw pull or nothing, because I've never seen any, like, lead draw pulls. I think it's lead. Anyway, yeah, cool. I'll have a better look at that later. Interesting. A little button, Tom Back button. Tom Back is a metal. It was so rubbish they had to make a word up for it. Tom came up with the uh, recipe for the metal. It was so crap they wanted to give them it back, but they had no choice, so they just called it Tom Back button. These things come up a lot. That's a bit rusty on the top. Some people don't know what they are, they are suspender clips. Yeah, while I'm at her, because she's been in my messenger, I, I often get lovely ladies hit me up in my messenger, you know, that's why I'm single. They're all, all queuing up in my messenger, can't decide which ones. Only joking anyway about that bit. Uh, no, Laura Speedy's been messaging me tonight from Canada, she's in my Facebook group, she's followed my channel for ages, lovely lady. Shout out to Laura in Canada. Not sure what part of Canada, but it's probably right next to Fuck Trudeau land. Something round there in the spoil. No idea what it is. I think it's only copper. Yeah, another little half pence. And that might be George the Six on that one. Uh, I don't know. Uh, looking like a ship half penny, yeah, so I think it will be. Happy George. Pav's just been a lifesaver and brought me a nice cold drink while he's on, on his taxi jobs on and off. And this is the hammy he got earlier that I mentioned. Probably a Henry III or something. Well done, Pavsky. Pavlova. Happy days. Um, yeah, no, hammy number seven for you now, mate. It is. And uh, like you say, once we've knocked her, always we've knocked her. That's <laughs> Oh yeah, I found the hammy with Nocta and I found the fibula. Yes. So Nocta is not a bad thing, but there is is much better. I yeah. can say that now. Okay. I know this. Started laughing and he said some fucking old stuff. Oh, this is what happens kids, well you know when these beginners get excited. No, it's uh, part of a, a button that is. It's part of a tombat button. See the shank? Yeah, there? I can say yeah. So you're right, mate. Here is some deep old stuff. <laughs> Maybe seven. Well, yeah, late 1700s, 1800s. Happy days. Yeah. Thank you, master. It's a bit more of that hedge fodder, but you, you can keep it while you're just I beginning. <laughs> I will keep it. While you're learning, I'll let you keep it. I will. <laughs> I just pop this, and it looks very interesting. I'm a partner. I'm gonna go Roman and possibly some sort of little. Um, utensil, 
possibly fork. Not sure whether it's complete or if it was longer, but I think the Romans were doing something with that for sure. Happy. Well, Pav on the left, uh, he's found some sort of 1600s work token. Looks like he might have a picture of a little building on or something. Like a church or something. And I've just popped my third little Roman grot of the night on the right there. Yeah, and it's got some words there, BT. letters, BT. Yeah. British Telecom. Probably. Were they, were they going in the 1600s, British hey, Telecom? I don't think so. <laughs> Nice path. Well done. Always like to see the uh, 1600 tokens. So that little uh, Roman fork, it's not. It's uh, part of a, a medieval buckle. Thanks, uh, Gio Belzoni, for the info, mate. And I'll see you on the best field in Worcestershire as soon as you get it cut with the farmer. You're touting for cod, too. You're touting for cod. I'm not even going in the house yet, viewers, because uh, straight back from digging, fish and chips outside, not even gone in, because I had to flea bomb the place. But it's been wet left well long now. So I was eating this before I go in. It's a killer. Absolute killer, that cat. No!